Early voting starts tomorrow in Massachusetts and most polling places open at either 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning. With every political cycle, we see more and more people taking advantage of the chance to cast ballots before Election Day. But what if you vote and then you have second thoughts? Mm. Well, WBC Tiffany Chan is live in Boston tonight with what you need to know. Tiffany. Courtney, Lisa, here's the thing. If you cast your ballot early, either at a polling location or by mail, no. You cannot take it back. It's final, so you better be firm in your decision. The Boston Public Library here on Boylston Street is just one of the many locations open for early voters tomorrow. If you dread waiting in line to vote on Election Day, early voting kicks off in Massachusetts this weekend. We work really closely with the city of Boston's election department, so they've got staff on hand to point people where to go. The Boston Public Library on Boylston Street is just one of the many locations people can cast their ballots early. You can see the signage and ballot boxes set up and ready to go. So you can come exercise your civic duty as an American citizen. You could check out a book. You could look around at the beautiful art that we have in the McKinney. Kim building. You could have tea in the map room tea room. Uh, you could even have a cocktail too. It's giving people more of an incentive to vote early from Saturday to November 1st. By making voting um, available for a longer period of time and making it available in more locations, um, that takes some of the burden off of voters. Professor Chris Galdieri teaches political science at St. Anselm College. He says cast your vote early only if your mind's made up. What if you know, some crazy tweet from 2005 resurfaces mm -hmm. that changes people's perception of the candidates or certain ballot questions. Just wait until Election Day. Uh, gather as much information as you can. Because once you vote early or by mail in Massachusetts, you can't take it back. Do they head this way to get to the Exactly, yes. You can enter here through the lobby. Yep. You'll be greeted by the um, election volunteers. You can stop by any early voting location in your city or town, but check online because polling places change daily. The Institute of Contemporary Art will double as an early voting location on Tuesday the 22nd. It's awesome. <laughs> So super convenient for anyone who's interested in voting in the seaport area. You can visit the museum and vote. And here's some more incentive, right? You never know what the weather is going to be like on Election Day. So if you know what, who you're going to vote for, what you're going to vote for, it's better to get it done early than wait until November 5th. But there's also nothing wrong with voting on Election Day either. Live in Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.